Welcome to my unboxing of the Zotac GTX 560Ti, which obviously you've seen before, 560Ti, not a new product by any stretch. Oh wait! Hold on a minute. Let me just get the plastic off here so that it's not as glossy and reflective. Slick's always given me a hard time about using reflective surfaces to reflect light and make the camera not focus, which then he gets blamed for by the YouTube viewer. So, limited edition GTX 560 Ti with 448 cores. So this is significantly more cores than a regular 560 Ti. It also has more memory than a 560 Ti. So this is interesting, a 320 bit memory interface with 1280 megs of GDDR5 memory. That is starting to look an awful lot like a GTX 570 in terms of the actual spec. Now a GTX 570 is also clocked around this 700 and some odd so uh, core speed also clocked around this memory speed so this is starting to look an awful lot like a very similar card to a GTX 570. It also uses a GF 110 core rather similarly to the GTX 570. So we've got a Zotac sticker, Zotac graphics card drivers, we have some Zotac GeForce accelerated software that you can get some deals on downloading. We have a Zotac extended warranty and quick installation guide. So please register for your extended warranty on Zotac.com. Okay. I think this one has two years if you uh, register for the extended warranty. Cool. Oh, five year warranty? Really? Wow. That's awesome. Does it, really, does it really have a five year warranty? Hold on. Let's find this information together. It'll be a voyage of discovery. Uh huh. Nothing on the back. Three times the performance of previous generation. Crank up the gaming realism. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? NVIDIA 3D Vision, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, this is all good stuff. It also supports. Uh, you know what? We'll get to that when we get inside. Huh, interesting. Okay, you know what? Here. Let's look at this again. So, United States, Canada, Latin America. Oh, they vary. Please refer to your regional Zotac website for details. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's two-year. Although, correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. We've got a user's manual. We've got a couple accessories. This is a very small box, so don't expect, you know, a huge card or too many accessories. We've got a DVI to VGA adapter and a couple Molex to PCIe power adapters. And then, Zotac's cards are always so sleek looking. I love the way their cards look, and this one is no exception. We've got a great little orange mesh and black shroud theme thing going on here. We have a center-mounted fan, so this is something we're pretty used to seeing on GTX 560 Ti's, but I'm going to show you a few things that we are not used to seeing on GTX 560 Ti's. So first, we've started on the top here. We've got our standard PCI Express 16X power slot, or uh, power slot, PCI Express slot. We've got a matte black PCB, which I was not aware of until now. We've got, oh, that looks so good. Look at this. All black components with just a few different, kind of like, white or silver accents on a matte black PCB with orange accents on the front. Oh yeah, chrome Zotac logo. This thing is going to look so good, so good in your system. And... Check this out. You've also got, yes, support for three-way SLI. So that is something we are definitely not accustomed to seeing on a GTX 560 Ti. So what is this thing? Basically, as far as I can tell, it is pretty much a GTX 570 in GTX 560 Ti clothing. Although I haven't benchmarked the card yet, this is my unboxing, I'm opening it now, but what I'm going to do is uh, either on this channel or on my NCIXCOM channel, I'm going to spend a little bit of time and I'm going to benchmark it in at least a couple games against the GTX 570 to find out how the two compare in terms of performance. The price is pretty similar, so I'm expecting them to be fairly similar in terms of performance. In terms of cooling, we've got three heat pipes down there. Can, can you see that okay from that angle? Yeah, you got that. So three heat pipes coming out in kind of a flower a flower cooling arrangement. You can actually see the top heat pipe here, which is making contact with large heat sink fins. And you can see in from this side what they look like on the back. We've also got nice big, uh, a nice big heat sink on the VRM, as well as our two six pin PCIe power adapt uh, connectors. 
And then on the top, we've pretty much shown you guys that already. What do we got for I.O.? We have two DVI ports, HDMI, and Display Port. So Zotac has opted to give you lots of options, not just the usual 500 series DVI, DVI, Mini, HDMI. No, nope, we've got a full-size HDMI as well as a Display Port output on this Zotac card. So based on the overall cooler design, the PCB design, I'm expecting this to be a fairly quiet card, just because most of the 500 series cards are quite quiet. But until I actually get it on the bench, I won't have a totally clear idea, but I think that pretty much covers it. So, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the limited edition Zotac GTX 560 Ti 448 core, and stay tuned. Don't forget to be subscribed to both Linus Tech Tips as well as NCIX.com for my follow-up video on this where I compare it to the 570 and find out just exactly what this thing is.